Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day again, everyone. Today I will be discussing to you about the family tree of quadrilaterals. Okay. So basically, by definition, um, quadrilaterals are any four-sided figure. So if let's just go back to that and to the table from time to time. Okay. So by definition, quadrilaterals. Quadrilaterals. Okay. Or any figure, any four-sided figure, four-sided plane figure, and I do hope that ano um that you have watched our video about um the different parts of a quadrilateral, okay, plane figure. So four-sided lang. Kahit anong figure na four-sided, may it be a square, may it be a rectangle, or any figure that you will see that is a four-sided figure, it's a quadrilateral. Okay. So, um, quadrilateral will have three major kinds. And this would be based on parallelism. Parallelism. Okay. Yeah. So, basically, parallelism are just simply the concept of lines being, um, when extended, they will never meet each other. Like so. Yeah. They will never meet each other. And that is the concept of parallelism. Okay. So, the three kinds are here. You will see here on the table. The very first kind is called the trapezium. Ito basic, and I have doubts here, but this would be textual, galing sa book. Okay? But basically, trapezium and kite, they would not necessarily fall under the same category. Okay? So, hindi sila under the same column. But trapezium is, uh, by definition, let's just zoom in a little bit. By definition, itong trapezium natin would be no parallel sides. Wala daw parallel sides yan. Okay, ibig sabihin, itong figure natin, pag in-extend natin itong side na to, itong, itong side na to, they will intersect. So, X na agad. Okay? No parallel sides. Okay? And then, the next one, we have the parallelogram. And by definition, the parallelogram will have two pairs of parallel sides. Okay? And when we talk about that, itong mga symbols natin, which is yung feather markers natin, this will indicate that this line and also this line are parallel. Okay? When we, ca when we talk about indicators or markers in mathematics or in geometry, it will just simply say that, um, for example, in the case of um, people, okay? kapag ikaw ay, um, say, mapute or singket yan, you will fall under the ethnicity of uh, Asians. Okay? Or kapag ikaw ay maitim, you will fall under the, um, say, African Americans. In this case, yung markers natin dito, yung feather markers, kapag may nakita kang feather markers na pareha sila na meron, therefore, etong dalawang line na yan, let me use a different color, etong dalawa na yan, ito yung parallel dyan. And in this case, ito yung parallel dyan. Okay? So, yeah, that is a parallelogram. And next, we proceed to the trapezoid. A trapezoid would just simply be a figure with one pair of parallel sides. One pair of parallel sides. Okay? So, ito yun. Ito yung parallel sides mo. Okay? Yan. Even if you extend that, they will never meet. And that would be for the trapezoid. Okay? So, under this uh, concept of parallelism for um, the different ma major types of, ano, of quadrilaterals, we will have under that would be based on congruence na. So, we go here and we go for congruence. Congruence. Okay. Everything here would be, would be about congruence po. Okay? So, let's go now. Congruence. Okay. So, let's go to the very first one, which is yung kite. Okay? Ang kite naman, guys, it's still under yung concept ng trapezium wherein it will never have congruent parts. I, I mean, parallel parts. Okay? What would happen here would be, ang kite, by definition, will have two pairs of adjacent congruent sides. Two pairs of adjacent congruent. And remember, in our discussion, adjacent, magkatabi. Yan, magkatabi. Congruent yan. And at the same time, ito, magkatabi, congruent. Okay? 
these are not congruent even though they are magkatabi. Kasi ang aim lang naman natin, one, two pairs. First pair, and our second pair. Okay? No, no, no. Ubuhin. Our second pair. Okay po? So, that would be for our kite. And basically, kites are just like saranggola. Okay? Wherein itong part na to is parehas, and itong bottom part is also parehas. Okay? And as for the measurement of the angles, we will not discuss that. We will discuss that kapag um, we now go to the specific definition of each um, quadrilaterals. Okay? So, we will just con uh, go with congruence. The next one, under parallelogram, we have, see here, okay, we have the rhombus and rectangle. So, ang rectangle, guys, would be a figure okay, that has two pairs. Let me just write here on the bottom part. Two pairs. Of opposite congruent sides. Okay, two pairs of opposite and congruent sides. And having the same property of the parent, which is parallelogram, it will also have two pairs of parallel sides. Okay, so meaning, itong opposite sides na congruent. This one, kung this is 6, this is also 6. And this is um 12, this is also yung opposite sides yung congruent. Hindi ho yung magkatabi. Okay po? And then, we have the rhombus finally. The rhombus by definition is just simply a parallelogram with all sides. All congruent sides. Sorry. All congruent sides. Sabihin, lahat ng sides sa congruent. Meaning, if this is 6, everything is also Ganun lang. It's quite easy. And then the last one, we have the square. Under the square, it's just like rhombus and um, rectangle. I forgot about rectangle pala. Rectangle, another special property is you will have four 90 degree angles. Ano yan? Ito yan. 90 degrees yan mga yan. Okay? Yan, 90 degrees. Now, going now to the square. It will have the property of a rectangle being 90 degrees po yung angles niya. And at the same time, it will have the property of the rhombus being congruent yung kanyang sides here. Congruent yan. yan. Kung 6 yan, 6 lahat. Okay? And lastly, we have our property for the parallelogram being parallel yung opposite na pairs ng kanyang sides. Okay? Parallel yung opposite sides. So, that would be for our parallelogram. And lastly, we have our isosceles trapezoid. For the isosceles trapezoid, I failed to draw it. But I will draw it right I, I will draw it right now. So, isosceles trapezoid. 1, 2. Okay, we have this isosceles trapezoid. As for the isosceles trapezoid, the special property of this one would be it would have one pair of opposite congruent sides. Side. Side pala. O, ano yung opposite congruent? Obviously, ito yan. Okay? Ito yung ating ano, congruent side. And remember, I, I forgot to say, these markings, yung fe ganto feather markings, this one is called I, these markings na parang arrow, this one are called feather markings or feather signs. This one, tinatawag dyan is hash, hash mark. Okay? Itong, yan, yung parang hiwa, like, like a line lang yan. It simply indicates congruence. Okay? Hash mark. Okay, now, having those hash mark meaning that this side here, this side here, and this side here, they are congruent. If this is 10, then therefore, this is also 10. Okay? And nothing more. Only those two sides. And this would be an isosceles trapezoid. Similar to, of course, our isosceles triangle. Congruent yung dalawang sides. Okay? So, that would be the different kinds of um, quadrilaterals based on parallelism and also congruence. There are specific, take note, there are specific properties for each kind of quadrilateral, but we will discuss that on a separate instance 
because a trapezoid, a parallelogram rectangle, rhombus square kite, and isosceles trapezoid will have their own property. Ay, ibig sabihin, iba yung nangyayari sa loob ng square, sa rhombus and all. Though some may be similar, pero may special properties po tayo dyan. Okay? And we have proof also for those things. Okay? So, I do hope that you got our topic for the family tree of quadrilaterals. Um, if you have any other question, you can consult the video again. Or you can chat me in our chat box. Thank you for listening everyone. And assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.